Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Uh, I think today, let's do an Eden run. We haven't done Eden in a while. Seed is HDX7XNFN. We start with... Uh... Scollet? Skull? Skulltel? The, the item that turns flies into friendly things. And then IV bag, really bad damage, bad rate of fire, bad speed, just bad stats all around. Even our HP is not very good. So this is going to be kind of a challenging run unless we get some really good items to kind of carry us here. Because, man, those stats. <laughs> you couldn't give me, like... A single good stat. Even our range isn't very good. Like, how do you roll a bad stat on every single stat? There we go. One down. One more. When it takes you 30 seconds to clear the first room. Actually, it was like 40. That's that's a bad sign. <laughs> this, is, this is potentially going to be one of those runs. All right. Give me something good. Eh, Taurus is not really good, and our speed is now atrocious. But at least it gives us damage potential. Kind of. If we can actually get up to the two speed before ending rooms. And the fact that we are still waiting on Taurus to actually proc for us here is... Oh, look at that! It actually did a thing. Okay, moving on. This room I can deal with. It takes us two hits to kill these guys. That's a bad sign. Oh, game. Okay. Well, we're not out of it yet. I mean, it's the first floor. We have a lot of run left to give us a chance here. So I'm not super concerned just yet. If we, if, if we you know, don't have something good within a couple floors, then I'm really going to start to be concerned. But just right this second, I'm not there yet. And here, I think we're basically just going to want to, like, avoid everything until Taurus procs. And we'll hit as many enemies as we can. With tears, but once Taurus procs, then we go on a murdering rampage and destroy everything. There we go. Thank you, Taurus. Taurus is doing good things for us, even if it did take us down to 0. 0.63. Yes, that's a 6 speed. See, we are at approximately 60% of our base of, like, Isaac's starting speed. I think. I think Isaac starts at 1 speed. Either way. Okay. Champion Ragman. Not great. Another enemy, though, that we can deal with if Taurus procs, because he will die pretty quickly to Taurus. As will his little spider buddy friends. The big thing is just avoiding... There we go. Come on. Hit him. There we go. He's dead. And we get HP. Which, honestly, we need. Because we need the ability to take a deal with the devil on the next floor. Uh, and hope and pray that whatever that deal is, is something good. We can't afford that. Three red hearts is tempting in many ways, but or three uh, red chests, I should say, is tempting in a few different ways, but fighting two bosses for it with our current stats, I just don't think... I don't think the, uh, the time investment is worth the potential outcome. Best case scenario, we get a couple of guppy items, but the odds of that actually happening are so infinitesimal... Yeah, I'm gonna get hit here. Yeah, that was... That, like, that was completely my fault. That was me just deciding, hey, let's dodge to the spot where I can't actually dodge anymore. So I take responsibility for that one, for sure. Also, we have Skatol or whatever. Shouldn't these flies be turning friendly? Isn't that a thing that happens? Oh, lovely. Envy. I'm very happy about this. This is definitely going to be a room where we proc Taurus, for sure. Considering we can't even get rid of his first phase. Look at that. Taurus! 
Taurus does wreck this enemy, though. Uh, okay. I messed that one up, but... shoop to whoop would be great. No shoop to whoop Okay, that's fine. Swing in here. Okay. Back away. At least we found the item room. One down. One more to go. We've done it. What you got? Okay, pointy rib. That's a damage dealing item. That could actually be a huge difference maker for us. Does it work? It appears to work on uh, poops and stuff as well. Yeah, totally does. Nice. Yeah, so the thing with this item, though, is that, like, you have to be real careful with it. Like, I think you, you just kind of need to treat it as, like, extra damage. Man, getting hit so much here. You got to treat it as extra damage, because if you try to use it like a proper orbital, I think it's going to come back to bite you. Oh, man, stop getting hit. Kind of hard not to when you can't kill enemies, but... Okay, Taurus. Kill Explodey Boy. Kill the champions. I did not kill that enemy before I ended my little... Okay, well... Hmm. And Pointed Rib does not do that much damage. Oh, man. We're down to no Spirit Hearts now. Like, as an orbital, the d yeah, I, I really don't think you can rely on Pointed Rib. There goes our deal. Rotten Penny. Wealth of Flies. So I'm assuming this is an, uh, a trinket that every time we pick up a penny, we have a chance to get flies. Which would be pretty nice. We're gonna die. Yep. There was nothing. I had nowhere to go. Okay. Let's try again. What do we got? This time. Even worse damage. Gimpy. Retro vision. Wow. This is just a second really bad run. And we don't have the XL floor, right? No. Just regular old cellar. No curses at the moment. We also... Ah, the damage output is just so bad. 15 rate of fire and 2.62 damage. I think our damage stat is about the same, but we also have worse rate of fire. So, like, our actual damage output is even worse than the last run. Oh, Eden... Gotta love it. Okay, let's keep looking. And let's try... You know what? Give me an anarchist cookbook. Let's blow some of these stupid spiders up. Yeah, that's right. How you like them apples? Okay, one of these is a soul friend boy guy thing. That deflects my shots. Which is unfortunate because my shots don't do like anything anyway. Okay, I need you to stop deflecting my shots away from you. Pretty please. Tell you what, let's get rid of this stupid spider since he's actually a threat and will continue to jump and attack me. And then we can worry about these dudes. Please give me a decent first item. Please, game. Give me something useful. I, I cannot hit you. I'm going to need you to actually die. Thank you. Well, that's a great item. Uh, and we have a heart in the other room. So, you know what? Give me... Br Wait, Brittle Bones? This is not the item that I thought it was. I thought that was going to be... Whatchamacallit? The item where... I can't take a deal with the devil now. Unless I get a red heart. And unless I get a bunch of red hearts, I am going to... Like, if I can get a bunch of hearts, I'll be in a great spot. But I need a lot of red hearts to make that happen. So I should probably be like breaking the poops and stuff, even though it's going to take me 75 million years to actually do with our rate of fire as bad as it is. Or if I can get some item that just refills my parts. Give me like a hematemesis or like a blood bag or like any sort of item that actually just resets me to full health that would be lovely but I am in a scary spot right now okay this guy's dead okay let's go fight our boss 
And it's Widow. I'm just going to use Anarchist Cookbook on him. And in the process, I'm going to do absolutely nothing with Anarchist Cookbook. Thank you for not being a super annoying tanky boss, though. That at least is something good. He's dead. How is he dead? Do I deal a ton of damage to enemies when they take out one of my bone hearts? Is that a thing? I'm very confused. Either way, we got Pageant Boy, which is another garbage item. Oh, and we have no keys. Okay. Well, let's try and make this work. Avoid that. Okay, troll bombs are fine. I'm looking for red hearts, basically. <laughs> I need many red hearts, and we've already found our boss, but we, we physically cannot take a deal with the devil right now. I see. So when I get hit... Wow. So it increases my rate of fire significantly when I get hit. And I shoot out like a Tammy's head style flurry of bones. But I also, oh wait, did it permanently, does it permanently increase my uh, rate of fire when I get hit? Cause my rate of fire carried over. I need to know what Brittle Bones does. Because I would totally be willing to lose, like, all of my bone hearts. In return for some decent stuff. I can't take these. Like, it won't let me. But, honestly, that's... Brother Bobby's a terrible item anyway, so who cares? Um, hmm. More testing is required. Yeah, look at that. I'm at the tier cap now. I wonder if I can increase beyond the tier cap. I doubt it. That would be a little bit ridiculous. Thank you, Golden Key, for appearing so I can actually get into my special rooms. Also, I see you. Hmm. Okay. So, here's what I'm thinking. I think you put a bomb here. You blow that up. You take this. You swing over here. You get Mom's Trinket Box. And hope to... You know what? There's no reason to not take that. You also put a bomb here. Blow this up. With golden keys. We're set. And I may... If I could get to... Dad's key or mom's key or whatever without... Uh, with two bombs. I would totally spend my two bombs to do that. You know, making use of the donation machine. I just don't know if that's feasible. I feel like Brittle Bones might actually be, like, an insanely good item, though, if it... Because it seems like every time I lose one of these Bone Hearts... I get a significant Tears upgrade, and considering our rate of fire was, like, 15... Oh, hello, Sad Bombs! That's a good item. So now we can definitely get to Dad's Key. And I think we should do so. It's going to cost us some sad bombs, but I think that's worth it. So, we're going to spend a few here. Get me up to 15 cents. This is what the donation machine is for, to carry us through bad runs. And this run is certainly improved from where it was. Really? You're one penny short? But it's still not a good run. So we'll take that. That'll give me some keys as well, which is fairly important. And then we'll be able to open up this golden chest and hopefully get all sorts of good stuff. Like a cricket's head or something. No cricket's head. Okay, moving on. Let's head down to the next floor. We still have no HP to trade away to deal. We still have garbage damage, but at least we're at the tier cap. Which is a huge improvement from where we were. And we're on an XL floor, which is not great. On the positive side, I can't mess up my deal by getting hit. Because bone hearts don't count as red hearts. So that at least counts for something. Get out of the way of that. Give me those sad bombs. There's one of our item rooms. One down. There we go. What do we got? Little Loki. Not great. I'll take it. 
I think I'll stick with uh, the rubber ball as our trinket here. That was pretty bad, but not the end of the world. Yes, what you got? Another pretty bad trinket. There's another item room. So we found our item rooms on this floor like super quick. Okay, that was bad damage. The number of bombs is, you know, okay. Like, cool. I, I love getting bombs, but it would be great if you would give me some, like, I don't know, damage bonuses, maybe? Just a thought. Just a little bit of a damage upgrade, so I'm not rocking 2.62 damage on the depths, which is what's about to happen unless I get some more damage on this floor. And this is an XL floor, so... We'll see. We have a chance at a deal with the angel as well. And honestly, with bone hearts as my primary source of health, I might take it. I might even fight the angel statue to try and get better chances of deals with the angel. But we'll have to see. It's unlikely we'll actually get a deal on this floor. Really? I just... Okay. Well, what's the pill? Puberty. That's one third of the way to a damage upgrade. So it counts for something, I guess. Yeah, avoid all of these shots. Okay, one's dead. There are two. Okay. No, no additional tiers upgrade. Okay. That's not a trinket we want or care about. We have one bone heart. It's a scary spot to be in. Trinkets, please. Um, Rosary bead. I'm going to take it. Give us an increased deal with the angel chance because I can't take a deal with the... Really? Must we continue to take damage from these guys? Okay, you need to, like, stay far away from me, please. Let's check this out, see what we got. The present. You know what? Yeah, blow this up. Give me the present. I... What? Excuse me. Stupid bomb. Blow it up again. Buy this. Take this. We're gonna take this back to an item room so that we can use it to get an item room item and hope that it's something amazing and, we, uh, and actually useful. Or actually, we could just use it right here. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm taking Epic Fetus. It's a terrible item. Well, actually, that's not true. It's a boring item. It's not exciting, but it kills things. So I'm taking it, and you can't stop me. So, we'll just epic fetus everything to death. Oh, and I do have sad bombs, so at least there's a little bit of synergy there. I suppose. <clears throat> so I can actually kill stuff now. Kind of. Yeah. I can kill a, a mushroom while it's still down, so the damage output on sad bombs combined with epic fetus, even when the rest of my run is like trash, is worth it, I think. There we go. Trinket? Not good. What are you? More not good. There's also a battery charge back here, so grab that. Still not good. There's... There are no good items. They don't exist. The good items are a lie. They're only a myth perpetuated by Isaac videos of the past. Um, you know what? We're going to go into the cursed room. I can get it in and out as long as I don't get hit. Oh. Can I get this without taking damage? I made it. That's right, the mark actually gives you a spirit heart as well. So we made it. And then I guess we just gotta go this way. So there's our first damage upgrade. And now things are dying. At a rate that I deem to be acceptable. We're still looking for, like, proper damage. We're still looking... Uh, I'm trying to think, like... From a trinket perspective, what do I want here? I think probably curved horn is the way to go. Probably the one. 
Okay. Looking good. Okay. Can we please kill this guy? Thank you. Not a secret room. Also, pretty bad. Wow, that's good damage. Okay. Halo! Look at that! I can actually take a deal if one pops up. Or a deal with the devil, specifically. There go. And one left. Dad's coin is terrible. We're down to the next floor. Not in a great spot, but not in a horrible spot either. And another XL floor, because one was not enough. And our tinted rock over here didn't pay out with any spirit arts, because of course it didn't. Okay. Blow this dude up. Blow these guys up. Blow you up. We're set. More horrible trinkets. One, two, Get rid of these guys. Grab the key. Keep going. Anti-gravity tears. How does that work? With epic fetus. I don't think it does. I, yeah. I think it just... Uh, kind of holds its own. Uh, that's a decent item. But it's kind of one of those like too little too late. Sort of things. Or tra uh, trinket item. You know what I meant. It's decent, it's good, but at this point, there's one shop left in the game, because I'm not fighting Hush with this setup. Like, no way. Take the golden key, though. And, you know, you can never have enough golden keys, so I'll gladly take another. I do appreciate the spirit hearts as well. Is that angelic feather? Filigree Feather, Angelic Spoils. I think we'll stick with Rosary Bead, because kind of hoping for a deal with the Angel here. I mean, but to be, I'm being honest, I'm hoping for something better than both of these items, but still. I will say, if it weren't for Epic Fetus, we would be in a real tough spot. <laughs> this is... This is another one of those runs. The last one was kind of the kind of the same way, except it was Mom's knife. It was like if it weren't for this one item, we would be pretty much out of luck. So I did not mean to do that, but oh well. Not really anything important over there. Careful. That's all of them. Swing down here. Blow those guys up. There we go. Last one. Lovely. With golden keys, there's no reason to not check this. Four room. Four is a D6, essentially. Which will re-roll all items on the floor. Feels like I'm so... Before we pop that, and we may want to, before we pop that, we should definitely check our... Hey, run away. We should definitely find our second item room and fight our first boss. Greed is fine. Didn't want to pay out with anything super useful, but uh, he exists. It's fine. It's all good. What's up here? Your toast. Um, I guess we'll clear this before we do other things. Oh, lovely, these guys. Okay. That's all of them. Uh, that's a free item. I like free items. Blow you up. We'll take that. And then you might as well... Grab that and pop this. Spoonbender apparently makes your familiars have... Uh, or, or Little Spoon, or whatever it's called. That trinket apparently makes your familiars have homing tears. That's our third golden key on this floor. Uh, 
Okay, well, we will have golden keys on this floor, I guess. There's our other item room. What do we got in here? Infamy! Infamy's just worth taking. That's a good item. Gives us a little bit of defense. Which I'm happy about. Yeah, that was my own fault. Probably shouldn't have picked up that battery charge. Probably should have let it just play out, but whatever. So we can actually we can actually get like four items. Well, not four. We can get like three items on this floor. We would need a shop that has a reroll machine in it, but we can get a lot of items here because of the store credit, and then on top of that. There's also, you know, we actually just have a decent amount of money. We actually have really good luck as well. So if we can get any items that are affected by your luck stat, that would be moderately helpful. No spirit hearts to be had there, it appears. What's... I don't know what's killing some of these guys, but okay. Stars... I mean, maybe we should just go fight the bosses, because right now we... Oh, okay, here's our... Here's our item, or our uh, shop right here. So let's swing in real quick, check this out. I will take Buddy in a box. Uh, you know what? We'll grab this as well. And we'll grab... Uh, okay, I'll take it. Take this, pop that. Don't want any of it. Pop this. Alright, let's run back as quick as we can. Hopefully we can get there fast enough. Because with this stars card, we can get a free boss, uh, a free deal, or a, a free boss rush item, if we can get to the boss fast enough. And I think with Epic Fetus, it should be possible, since we can kill the bosses fairly quickly, as long as they don't, like, jump over my attacks like that. There we go. Take a little gish, pop in here. Probably should have tried to reroll it, but I'm, I'm kind of in a hurry because of the stars card. There we go. Grab this. Swing in here. Krampus. Krampus is annoying, but also dead. Grab all the money. Grab that. There's a tinted rock back there. Wow. We just have four items that I don't want. Okay. Okay. So, never mind. I'm not even going to bother fighting that, honestly. We'll just go down to the next floor and call it a day. I suppose the, uh, we could have stars used the stars card to try and get to uh, the four dice room to re-roll the stuff in Boss Rush, but then we would have had to actually fight Boss Rush, which wasn't something that I was particularly wanting to do. These guys are... Like, super annoying with Epic Fetus. Okay, anytime, dude. Just thank you. You can... Oh, man. You can't fast enough. Like, you have to... There we go. Finally. Yes, give me the AAA battery. Okay. That will give me slightly faster charge times. And allow us to use the trinket box a little bit more until we can actually get a, like, really good trinket. And I think that trinket is Curved Horn. Like, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're searching for. Crack Crown, I mean, there's something to be said for that as well, but... Curved Horn is really the one that we want. And honestly, with, like, our rate of fire being where it is, maybe Libra wouldn't be horrible. Especially if we got, like, Crack Crown. I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, it would almost certainly raise our damage, at least to some extent. Can we please kill... Alright, get rid of this dude. There we go. 
Get rid of these guys. And you. Okay. So far, so good. Chariot card. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's take the chariot card over stars. Probably a little bit better. By some small margin. I hate you. And that is an HP upgrade. This puberty pill. And then you might as well blow those up. And you might as well check here for a secret room while you're at it. Speed down. That's real unfortunate. And health down as well. Okay, well, not a great batch of pills, honestly. But at least we got the HP upgrade from one of them. Nope. A little too slow. Drop it. There we go. He's dead. And no deal. What's this? Second hand. Extended stat effect time. I think we'll stick with what we got. Tempted in some ways to take uh, Black Rune. But I think we got to stick with this. And we'll see what we get for a deal at the end of this floor. Like, we might not get anything good. I mean, we're guaranteed a deal, basically. As long as we don't get, you know... I mean, essentially, if we take red heart damage on this floor, we're dead. So, because we only have the one red heart. And we have a lot of protection in front of it. So, let's hope we don't get to that point. But, nonetheless... Oh! that's potentially good as well that would allow us to re-roll like the whole run upon getting hit so there's a, there's some temptation there but I think I'm kind of a little bit more interested in seeing if we can make this particular run work for us and we should be able to epic fetus does give us a lot of insulation against everything else I mean if you look at this run just on paper without looking at the the actual items we're talking like 4.95 damage and a three rate of fire which is like okay but not amazing and would be pretty bad if you considered that the three rate of fire comes from anti-gravity tiers which is an item that has uh, many potential issues going for it There's another puberty pill. I don't think you can get the puberty pill effect more than once per run. Like, I think if we pop a sixth puberty pill, I don't think that's going to give us another HP upgrade. But you might as well check and find out for sure, because I'm not 100% positive on that. Get rid of these guys. Somehow I'm avoiding these shots. There we go. That's a decent item in some ways, but I think we'll keep going. Okay. Easy enough. Okay. Don't get hit. We made it. Burnt Penny. Not super useful. Horse Pill. Okay. Not helpful at all. Hey, look at that. It's our boss. Another horse pill. And a health up. I will take the health up. Ooh, health up. Filled. Wait. I'm confused. So I used the health up, and the red heart that was filling my bone heart went into the new one? That's... I don't know. Whatever. Let's check this. See what, see what we got in this room. Okay. Blow that up. Left hand. Goathead. Well, I'll take Goathead. Uh, left hand at this point is not exceptionally useful for me. Let's do this. We'll fight Mom. Be very careful. Oh, it's down there. Okay. I lost track of my reticle for a second. Mom's dead. Grab this. Okay. Not great. 
Ugh, that's just not a good deal, like, at all. That's a horrible deal. All right, we are going up to the cathedral. We actually made it through all that in time to fight Hush, which is kind of surprising. But... Thank you, Infamy, because that would have been damage. No doubt about it. There we go. Alright, run away from this guy. Nope. There's a ghost. And we gotta teleport to a deal with the angel, and at this point my HP is low enough that I'm fine with just taking all of this. But there's no point in actually fighting the angel. Because we're not gonna get a second angel statue to pop up. Uh, and you know what? You might as well pick this up just for the bookworm chance, even though I don't think we've seen any other books on this run. What's our other card? Chariot? Okay, down we go. Uh, yep. I was gonna say, I'm getting hit there. <laughs> it's gonna happen. The luck, though. Like, once we get down to the chest, we are gonna get so many items from having an almost seven luck stat that it's gonna be hilarious. The run is gonna do, like, a complete 180, and suddenly we'll be in, like, insanely good run territory. And with golden keys... Keep closing and opening. Give me a cricket's head. Now we're up to eight luck. Oh, you're not done yet. I'm happy. Keep paying out. Just pay out forever. All right, that's it. No more good stuff. Uh, You know what? Sure. Let's pop in here. Blow that up. And then we'll use our chariot card to get out. Okay. That was my own fault. Not great damage. Speed down. I think I'm going to pass on that one. We also have this black rune that we can use on the chest as well. So if we come across any bad items, we can avoid them. Wouldn't mind swapping one of these out for a Yara rune. That would be ideal. But that obviously involves coming across a Yara rune between now and then. <sighs> I mean, that would get us up to nine luck for the chest. Okay, that was just bad damage. Okay, stop. Self. You're, you're taking a lot of damage here that's very unnecessary. Okay. All right, I think that's all of them. There's gotta be a boss somewhere on this floor, right? Get him. Destroy. Okay. Hey, look! It's a boss. I was beginning to worry. Well, there's not a lot of good stuff. Uh, okay, we want to be in this corner, in that corner. There we go. Get in this corner. We're fine. Okay, now you want to hang out over here. And, I uh, what? I got hit. Okay, we need to be super careful when we walk back in that I don't go down to the void accidentally. Okay, we made it. Because this is not a delirium run. <laughs> this this setup is not good for delirium at all. All right, we got Curse of the Lost. Holy Light's great. This is like four good items. Except for this one. Slipped Rib Projectile Shield. I mean, it might be a good item. I just wasn't sure what it did off the top of my head. But this is the one that basically gives you like a shield that rotates around your body. 
Oh, and that's right, with sad bombs, we're gonna have holy light shots popping out all over the place, too. Which is gonna be pretty sweet. Will doorstop open? I don't think doorstop there would open. Oh, okay. That was fair enough. I don't think doorstop would open the door to Mega Satan, right? Because it only it keeps the door open that you went through. Mr. Mega, that's a bomb synergy. Which means we can basically kill everything with Epic Fetus. Not that we couldn't already kind of kill everything with Epic Fetus, but now we can like doubly kill everything with Epic Fetus. <clears throat> Excuse me. That means we need to actually hit them though. There we go. Might as well grab the Eternal Heart, why not? Holy Light will destroy these dudes if we can get a couple of Holy Light shots to go popping out. And I think Holy Light is reliant on your luck stat. At least to a degree. So, yeah, there we go. That just took out a whole bunch of them at once. Where's the reticle? There we go. And it looks like this is a dead end. So I guess that was not the proper direction. Uh, I think I've already been over here. I've already been up there. Okay, so that's all explored. Let's try going down. Lovely. Oh, these guys, huh? Wow, they ate it really fast. I think that's our black rune item. Gave us a damage up, which is something. Kind of hoping for speed. I mean, on speed, our speed isn't that bad. I shouldn't complain. Our speed is fine. It's above like 1.2, so we sh we can still dodge effectively. Really, it's it's damage that we need more than anything else. And at this point, our damage is fine. If we didn't have Epic Fetus, it would be a lot worse, but we do. So, and we have oh, there's the one right there. That's what we were looking for. Now we have good everything, essentially. Because now we can basically one-shot, like, pretty much all enemies that aren't actual, like, bosses. I don't think we could one-shot Blue Baby. But just about everything else, sure, take little Monstro. It's a good item, not a good item with Epic Fetus, because you're never actually holding down the fire button long enough, but... Or maybe you are, I don't know. Doesn't usually seem like it. And at this point, like, we don't even need to do anything with Mom's Trinket Box, because we're not... This is the item that we want. This is this is our, our trinket of choice for this particular run. That's a cursed eye. I'm going to stay far away from that. Thank you very much. And there you go. We managed to pull a victory from what looked to be a pretty bad run to begin with. There was the seed, by the way. FY3F2E12. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.